Yes, welcome back to part two, golf fans. This is Mount Worsley, the on-course vlog here on the Big Down Golf Channel. This is the seventh hole, a 518-yard par five off the whites today. Um, trouble on the right there with the bunker, catching any kind of errant drives. Also, bunkers guarding the front and left of this green as well. Uh, it's quite a tough par five, especially today. Let's see how we go. Quite a long one, this one. <laughs> So we're going to need to use the driver here, get it down there. I didn't have my protein shakes today, so I can't Bryson this one. Let's try and bring it back off that left hand side. Looks good. It's a high ball, but it's good. Yeah, it's the other side of the hump anyway, so it should be good from there. Yeah, happy. All right, 291 into the pin. I'm never going to make that, um, not in a month of Sundays. So. Just a layup on the second shot on the par five. I'm just going to try and get it over these, uh, these bushes here. Just to give us a shot in, I suppose. That'll work. Little punch down there. Should work out just fine. Okay, third shot, par five. Right, I'm just going to zap the flag real quick. 64 yards. Again, shouldn't be any more than a flick. But I just want to make sure that it grips as well because it's quite a, quite a nice green, this one. There's a bit of a backstop. So I'm just going to give this a real clean first. Okay. So here we go. Just try and get it there. Just... A little low knockdown. Oh, it could be good. Oh, it could be good. Spin. That has not stayed on the hill. Has that really stayed on the hill? Oh, my days. Okay, well for a birdie anyway tricky putt for a birdie we're on the green anyway i thought it would come back down off the hill a little bit not enough spin so just try and get it there confident about this one line's good line's good line's good oh just died at the end oh it was a good putt Oh well, we'll take a five, as long as we can roll this one in. Yeah, we'll take the par. Difficult par five, that one. Yeah, happy with that. The eighth hole here at Mount Rose is an interesting one. There is a tree right in the middle of the fairway. You've got to get round or over it. Uh, within the landing area, though, there are bunkers as well, so you need to be careful. And that second shot needs to be well placed to a three-tier green, as you can see from these images. Quite a tough one, this. Let's see how we go. Hole eight, Mount Wosley. 383 yards off the whites. Just gonna try and get the driver down there. Just try and bring it back a bit. That's the one, should be good. Whoa, stop, 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 yeah. Just short of the bunker on the right, I think. It did come back a bit, but I think it just stopped short of that bunker. Yeah, not bad. Okay, second shot here at uh, the eighth hole here at Mount Osley, uphill. Bunkers surrounding this. Um, says on the laser that it's just about 149 
but it's uphill. So I'm just gonna three quarter or nine iron, I think, just to try and get it there at least anyway. Carry. Oh, it's run through the back. Run through the back. Never mind. Should be a chip and a putt from there. All going well. Okay. I don't know what to do here, whether I just put down the hill. Um, I think that's probably the best option because if I try and a wedge, I think it's just going to take off as soon as it hits that down slope there. So I think if I can put through this, it'd be good. I'll have to put that way, which isn't going to be great because there's a lot of rough to go through. So, just choke down on this putter a little bit. Oh, would you believe it? What a putt. Oh, man. All right, we've just missed out on the birdie, so just try and finish off a par. Yeah, we'll take the par on that one. It's quite difficult to hold. All right, on to the ninth. Oh, you won't believe how close that was. Um, on to the ninth hole here at Mount Wellesley. Relatively straightforward par three, 180 yards off the whites. Bunkers to the right. Um, just make sure you hit the green on this one, folks. Let's see how we get on. Okay, ninth hole here at Mount Wellesley is 158 yards, uh, par three. Let's see how we go. Could be good. Oh, it's about short of it. Short and left. Oh. All right, we've come up a little short on this par three. As you can see there, there's a fair distance from me to the flag. Um, a good half a club short. I don't know why I think I'm Hercules off the par threes today. Um, so ideally, just want to try and bump this in a little bit. So I'm going to get the wedge out and just try a little bump and run. So I'm hoping I can land it on that fringe and then have it release. But I don't want to go too far past. Just a little... A little knock, that's all I want. Yeah, I can't really do much better than that. It's not too bad, still within six, seven foot. All right, I think I should have this one in the bag, I hope. Just make sure I get it there. Need this for the par. Yes, good save, good save. Happy with that. Right, on to the back nine. Okay, we start the back nine here at Mount Wellesley with a par five, 526 yards downhill, left to right dog leg. Uh, trouble right here, so try and get an accurate tee shot. Maybe then a layup then before the lake, which is at the bottom of that hill, which then leads to a lovely green surrounded by bunkers. Very nice hole this one. Let's see how we get them. Fade now, fade, 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 fade. Yeah, it's down in the bottom there. Should be okay. All right, second shot here on the par five tenth. Um, the drive was pretty good. It's got down to just by the bunker here. So I just want to knock this eight iron down, I think. I don't think I can make it with any club I got in the bag um, down there. So if we just knock the eight iron down, nice and gentle. That should do us. Or do that. Oh, it survived the uh, survived the hedges, but that was terrible. Class one duff there, guys. All you golf fans, just to show that it does happen in the big Dan golf videos. <laughs> okay, 139 yards in on this one now. Third shot in. Just need to make sure that we make it over that uh, 
over that pond. Just a nice, easy stroke. That's all we need. Go on, bounce on. Uh, just shy of it. It's all right though. Not too bad. Um, I'm just going to try and get it near, near as I can anyway. Gone for the putter, a bit more control. Oh, how did that miss? I can't buy a birdie today. Ah, oh, greens are running lovely though. Greens are running lovely. Take a five, tapping pars are the best kind of pars. Oh, unbelievable. My sincere apologies, golf fans. I am doing my utmost to try and get birdies for you today. Oh, but it's just not happening. Anyway, let's take a little walk up to the next tee. The next tee is the 11th. It's a beautiful little par three here at Mount Wosley. 190 yards off the whites today. So we we'll take a look back at the hole here now. You see the lake on the right hand side. You have the lovely stonework bridges that you cross to get to the tees and on the way back down to the fairway. You do have bunkers to the left of this green as well, which will catch any iron shots that have gone over to the left. Um, but a lovely green that does fall away to that pond, so you have to be very careful with this shot. Let's see how we go. 11th hole at Mount Wosley here is this par three, stroke index four, water, bunker front, bunker back. Right, see how we go. Oh no! Oh, it's short. It's not made the bunker. Duffed it a bit, but it's all right there. On this par three, I've not quite made the green, but it's just a case of trying to get it up there. Just a little chip and run. That's all I want to do. Sit, 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 sit. Yeah, not a bad result, not a bad result. Should be straightforward enough, let's just try and roll this one in. Yeah, there we go, we take the par, walk away. Okay, the 12th hole here at Mount Wosey is a 490 yard par five. Round the corner to the left, there's bunkers all around the landing area, so you need to be really careful with your drives here. The bunkers on the left and on the right hand side. Sweeps all the way around to the left to a green that's actually surrounded by bunkers. There's one, two, three, four, five of them there. Um, difficult one, let's see how we go. Okay, par five, round the corner, over to the left. Um, just want to try and get the, the drive away, no, nowhere near the bunkers ideally. Um, just to give me a chance of getting out of that green for two. It's relatively short par five compared to the rest, so. Aim at the bunker, bring it back, that's the plan. Down, down. Down. Yeah, good position there. I was never making the bunker, was I? Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, second shot in. Drive wasn't as big as I thought or I'd hoped for um, for this par five. I'm going to try and just take some off the corner there just to get down a little bit. Just try and knock this six iron down there. Punchy one. 
do the business though, I think. Yep, should be okay from there. Always replace your divots, folks. Always replace your divots. Okay. Tricky one, these. I actually hate these shots where I'm playing so raised. Raised green. I don't think I've got it in the bag to loft this uh, 60 degree. Um, we'll give it a go anyway. Let's see. Oh, it stayed up. That was pretty good. Pretty happy with that one. Come on, come on. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. I have got it in my locker. Looks pretty straight, but I think it's gonna come in off that left lip. So let's try and get it. First birdie of the day. Yes! About time. Coming up on part three of this course vlog from Mount Wosley, you see some more big drives. You see me play a shot one foot in the bunker. And you even get to see me run to see if the ball lands on the green. And if you'd like to book to stay or play at Mount Wosley, there is a link in the bio below. See you next time on part three.